This video is sponsored by any small. In today's video, we are going to be talking about MoGrade files also known as motion graphic templates. MoGrade files are created in After Effects and then we are able to use these files in Adobe Premiere Pro for speed up our workflow. You can also say it's a pre-made template. This format introduced in 2018 version of Adobe. So you need at least 2018 version for using MoGrade files. So normally Normally, if you want to use MoGrid file in Premiere Pro, only you need to do is to go to Essential Graphics. If you don't see Essential Graphics, just go to Windows and make sure you enable Essential Graphics. Click on this Add button and select any MoGrid file that you want. So here I have a title MoGrid file, let's select it. And at the bottom, we have our title right here. Just drag and drop it at our timeline and that's it. Now if you want to edit your MoGrid file, just go to Essential Graphics, go to Edit and here we have all the possible settings that we can change of our MoGrid file. But if you look at it, only we can change is text and color option. We cannot change any kind of font, positioning or something else. So if you want to change fonts, positioning or even animation of any MoGrid file, you can also do that using After Effect. So here I have a MoGrid file. Now first thing you need to do is to change its extension. For that, simply go to your folder option like so and then go to view and here we have hide extension option. Make sure it is unchecked and hit OK. And now we can see our file extensions. Now right click on your MoGrid file and rename its extension to zip. Now here we have a zip file. Now just right click and extract this zip file. There you go. Here we have our original After Effects project inside of our zip file. Just double click and open up your After Effects project. Make sure you have at least 2018 version of After Effects. Select your MoGrid file location. There you go. Here we have our original project where this title created. Now you can change anything that you want and animate it according to your taste. If you are not familiar with After Effects, let me show you how you edit font and positioning. Just go to Windows and make sure Essential Graphic is selected. Here we have all the settings related to this title. Now you can change fonts, color and literally everything. More than that, if you want to enable font and positioning customization option for Premiere Pro use, you can also do that. For that, simply click on this added properties and enable these options and hit OK. If you want to animate this title, simply double click on your sequence and there we go. Here we have all the settings you can customize whatever you like. Once you're done with all of it, simply click on this export motion graphic button and then select any specific location where you want to save your mockery file and you all set. Now let's try out our new mockery file in Premiere Pro. Just import your mockery file. Drag and drop it at your timeline. Now this time if I go to edit, I can see this added font option which I wasn't see last time. So in this way, you can edit any MoGrid file using After Effects and use it in Adobe Premiere Pro. Before ending this video, I just want to take a minute and tell you guys about AnySmall. AnySmall provides the most comprehensive video and audio compression solutions with a one clip of batch operation. It sports more than 1000 formats. Here is the interface of AnySmall. As you can see, the interface is really clean and simple. At the right, we have some basic and advanced settings. In basics, we have some basic settings, but in advanced, we have some more options for 
deep compression here we have video encoder you can also change resolutions and frame rate as well and at the end we have audio settings just like audio encoder so now let's try out any small i have this gameplay video and as you can see its size is almost 1 gb just drag and drop into any small I'm going with a high quality and set file size around 30% because I want to compress my video as small as possible. Once you're done with it, just hit start and it will be done within a few minutes. And here is the results. So overall any small is super easy and save you a lot of time so i will recommend you guys go ahead and check it out any small by clicking the link in the description below